Hello there, my remarkable recherche Rufus Rangers. Uh, if you haven't heard about the current politics going on in the EDF military right now, it appears the Rangers have been placed on the endangered species list. Uh, what happens is, the wing divers are vigorously pursuing the fencers and the air raiders as their pookie bear baby boo toys, and it seems like Rangers have been playing second fiddle, or more realistically, probably tenth fiddle. So. Rufus Ranger here has been spending his summer break locked in his room thinking about a special talent that only Rangers can do. And one day while Rufus was sweating to the oldies, volume three, ain't no mountain high enough, he stumbled upon his true purpose in life. And it was the last place he would have expected. It was in the magma cannon. So what I'm gonna do in this quick tips video is I'm gonna cover, um, well, first of all, in the past I've covered how to shoot through shield screens and drop ships. Um, however, Ranger can not only do this, but he can do it better. Uh, first, I'm going to show you a not so useful tip, and then I'll demonstrate a pretty useful tip that can be useful um, in certain strategies. So, first of all, let's talk about the not not so useful tip. It's something interesting. So, apparently, the flamethrowers, um, at least only range only, only Rangers flamethrower has a special um, a special uh, attribute to it, to where it actually can shoot through shield screens. And not only can it shoot through shield screens like the wing divers, you know, Thunderbow or or the uh, Ryzen uh, sniper, but it actually can damage the shield screen itself. So I'll show here where you actually can hit, not only can hit the ants, but it can also hit the shield screen itself, as you can see, actually hit it and starting to walk away. Um, which is which is weird because, like I said, um, the other weapons that can shoot through shield screens cannot damage the shield screen at all. Now because obviously the the um, the damage on the magma can is not very high and the uh, range is not very good. It's not exactly the best, you know, the best thing, but it is something interesting that, uh, let me try and kill this thing while it's, while it's collapsed here, just to show you can actually kill the shield screen through the shield screen itself. Come on. There you go. Let me go ahead and kill it here. As you can see, I'm hitting it through the shield screen itself, which no other class can do. Uh, come on. Quit, quit messing around. There we go. And I killed it. Killed it. So his flame, his flame weapons have a, have a special property where they can shoot through shield screens and they can damage the shield screen itself. That's not too useful, but I mean, it's it's something interesting that no one else can do, and that's something at least he can post on Instagram. But now let me show you something that's actually uh, more useful, and that would be drop ships. So Ranger can shoot through drop ships, as I showed in another video, where you can take a weapon that penetrates through targets, such as, you know, his GNM, his Fang, his shotgun, they can all shoot through sh to the drop ships if you're staying on top of them. And now that has now that Ranger has helicopters, it's actually easy for him to get on top of um, drop ships. But let me show you something else that's very interesting that only Ranger can do. Um, let's take a mission with a drop ship, which would be, this would be a pretty good one here. Let's do it on hard. All right, let me go ahead and get this helicopter up so I can actually call it out and get on top of the dropship to show you. Kill these things really fast. I am playing on hard, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just doing this because it's faster. But I have the magma cannon. This works on all his flamethrowers. However, the ones, you know, the ones with more range obviously going to be easier. But I mean, regardless, it does work on all his flamethrowers. Let kill these, these drones just to make sure I don't have any problems with getting hit with my uh, helicopter here. Thank you. I love you. Vehicle drop. Alright, so now that Ranger has helicopters, you can take a helicopter and you can take your magma cannon and whatever other weapon you have. And you can fly on top the dropships here. Um, I wish they, the I hope the next EDF actually takes takes um, some tips from EDF Iron Rain and makes their flamethrowers similar to the flamethrowers in Iron Rain because Iron Rain's flamethrowers are amazing. Whereas this game, they're not too good because of the range mainly. The damage is fine, it's just the range. Um, but I think the Iron Rain ones are more interesting. But anyway, I'm going to fly up on top of this uh, dropship here. I'm going to land on top. 120 all right, six and a half hours later, I'm going to descend in the helicopter here on top of this dropship. And now, not only can the flamethrower shoot through the ship, which, you know, not that's going to matter much because you can't hit anything on the below the ship because the ship's so high, but the flamethrower 
is the only weapon in the game because I tried I tried the um, the, the uh, helicopter that shoots flame. I tried the uh, I tried the uh, hell flame revolvers for the fencer. They don't work. Ranger's flamethrower is the only flame that can actually kill dropships from the top. So <laughs> I can fly on top of this dropship, kill it, and then I can fly on top of the next dropship, kill it, get in my helicopter, fly the next dropship, kill it. So, I mean, obviously only certain missions are going to benefit from this, but it's definitely interesting that the property of this particular flamethrower allows you to kill the ships itself through the top, which is very, very strange. Um, I'm not sure if it's because it shoots 60 per second, whereas the Hellflame only shoots 20 per second, or something like that, but the only other flame in this game that has the same property as the Ranger's Flamethrower is the uh, Air Raider's Deathcrawler flame one, but, you know, that's not going to really work because the, f the Deathcrawler can't get on top of these ships, so that's not going to really be much beneficial to, to that this strategy, but, so therefore Ranger is unique in that he can kill, he's the only one who can kill the dropships from the top. So, so yeah, all is well and good in the EDF military again. Um, Ranger's receiving a lot of Secret Santa gifts from the Wing Divers again, and he's actually so much so he's had to share with the Fencers and Aerators. So, um, so Ranger has uh, found his place in the military again, and all is well and good. And just, just if you're not aware of it, I love Ranger, and I'm not, I'm not trying to pick on Ranger in my videos, I just think it's funny that Ranger is is I would say he's he's so much balanced in this game and wing diver and fencer are so much out of balance in this game that he just feels a little bit out of place um, because of just how strong those other classes are or just because of how they buffed him so much in this game I mean he does have a sprint now which is nice so I do appreciate that but uh, but yeah just something interesting um, his flamethrower can kill ships from the top and this works on all his flamethrowers not just the magma cannon um, but you need something that can reach you. I also tried the napalms. Those don't do it. Um, the volcanic napalms don't do it. The flame geyser I shot underneath the ship to shoot down into the ship, and that didn't work either. So, so yeah, something interesting I thought I'd share with you guys. So yeah, um, that'd be all for this quick tips video. So once again, thanks a lot for watching. And remember, Eve doesn't leave a man behind, ever. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, as it does help more people find the channel. And also, um, if you'd like to help financially, please consider um, hitting the join button, which is next to the subscribe button, or watching a few ads or sharing the channel with someone as it does help financially. It's very much appreciated. Hope to see you on the next video.